This is Kenneth. He is fresh out of second C, and there is only one thing on his mind. Another bounty. One. And off he goes on a new voyage off to the third C. And then Kenneth arrived and inhaled that fresh. No, not fresh. No, it smells of sweat. Oh! Scout fat. I am 100 meters from your location and approaching rapidly. Start running. So everyone, I have heard your cries for a new video and all you want to be sweats chose rumble. You all just want to speed to 30 million and don't care, but I love you guys, so I got you. Are all smelly, but thug it out. So let's get into it. So the rumble fruit is one of the best fruits in the game in terms of PvP. Being unbalanced, it is part of the meta at the moment. Zio Lassies, please nurse this. So here are the main pros and cons of the fruit. Firstly, it is one of the best in terms of stun. Most of the moves have really large AOE. Good damage for fruit mains. Very big combo potential. And in great mobility move for one purpose. Run. Now on to the cons. Firstly, the rubber fruit has immunity to the fruit altogether. Slow startup times and slow moves altogether, making you vulnerable to attacks. You also need to predict when to do your moves due to the startup time. However, first, we must awaken this. It will cost 14,500 fragments, and you can raid with friends or do it the other way. Anyways, let's get, get into the skills higher. showcase. So the Zed move is probably the most useless in the move set, but is good for chipping off a little damage and it tracks the enemy in the general direction and has a tiny bit of stun, but does not break observation. However, it has really good range and the tracking gets better. The farther the range. Mama Lugga. Next is the best move in the move. Set the X move. This AOE attack is the one that sets this apart from the rest. Because of its wide AOE and stun being a great combo starter, it has great damage and breaks observation. But a drawback is that it cannot hit people in the air. Doing good, but then the first, get out of here, you son of a bitch. Jesus. Okay, so the first night is never usually that bad in any of the games, so I'll play through. What the fuck? Oh! So the C move is like the slightly deformed little cousin of the X move. Not as good, but still decent. Its strengths are the good damage, and the stun pulling enemies straight up to be used as a combo starter or extender, and also had a very far range, so you may be able to chip off damage. Overall so far, so good. So the V move is just like me lets out a big black ball from time to time that does a lot of damage. What do you mean by that? On another note, this move is very good in terms of PvP because of the damage for fruit mains, the great range and the long stun, meaning you can start combos. However, a drawback of this is the long startup time, meaning you are venerable to attacks during the startup, but overall, a great move. Well, how about next time you get a board that can handle the Neutron style? Later, Nick. So next up is what fighting style to use paired with the Rumble Fruit. Although the fruit is very versatile, there are three that I would recommend. But if you're skilled, I would suggest as honorable mentions, being Electric Claw and Sharkman Karate being more unorthodox with this. Well, now on to the main attraction. Please -y. 
Um, excuse me, what's the actual f- No, 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 no! Wait, 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 wait! Wait, 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 wait! Okay. Okay, okay, guys, let me explain myself. I know I am the number one god human meat god, but hear me out here. But the way I've been getting dominated by these sanguine art users makes me sweat so hard, I can't deny it. So here are the reasons why. First, it's not Ken Trickable. Multiple versions of moves, meaning you can miss a bit. It's great in the air, which is something crucial for this fruit. However, the moveset all have a short range, meaning it requires a combo starter. <coughs> now, on to the positives and negatives of God-Human. It is easy to use, almost brain-dead. It has really good move variations. It's great in the air. However, it is quite Ken-trickable. <coughs> Honestly, it's down to your preference, but facts are facts. On that note. <laughs> Superhuman. For the real chads of the game, heavily underrated. If you're more experienced with Rumble, you may want to use this as an alternate to God Human. So let's get into the pros and cons of this fighting style. Firstly, it has very good knockback. So it's really good for those instinctive moments when you need to. Run. Good damage. Great combo potential. But it is bad in the air. On the whole, very nice. Now, on to what swords I recommend. And this one is a long one, since the rumble fruit really shines when used in a sword main setup. So I'm just going to do this very quick fire, as there are a lot. It's a lot of choices and it's down to preference, but I prefer Dragon's Trident and Rengoku, as they are the most fun. Now it's time for the main attraction, the combos. There will be a dedicated part for fruit mains and sword mains.
So those are the combos. Also, shout out to, to the people with the sanguine art combo. Here are the race and accessory recommendations for the Rumble Fruit. And the two best races, in my humble opinion, are Ghoul and Mink. I beg your pardon? I beg your pardon? Anyways, guys, that's the end of the video. If you've enjoyed this, subscribe, of course, and comment what fruit I should do next. Also, join my Discord for a dragon giveaway. Have a great day. Oh.